Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And I wanted to quickly talk about a Funko Pop that I went ahead and I bought just recently to make sure I grab it before the value goes way up. And it is uh, Moon Knight. Uh, this was released back in, I want, yeah, 2017 for LA Comic Con. This is one, I did get it off eBay. I paid about $24, $25 I think it was. Uh, but it, I thought it was one. It's an awesome pop because just look at that. That's that's an amazing pop right there He's so cool the crescent moon on his forehead moon knight such a cool character But there is a moon knight series coming from Marvel on Disney plus that's gonna be coming out It seems like next year. They're already starting to prep uh, Oscar Isaac is going to be playing moon knight. I'm super excited about the show uh, but as we get closer and we're gonna get first looks at it and then we're gonna get a trailer and more trailers and then eventually next year the movie will come out and especially with Falcon of the War Soldier now and Loki and as all these new Marvel you know Disney Plus shows are good especially as we get later in the year and we have Miss Marvel and Hawkeye and if those turn out to be good which we all have an inclination they will be people will start getting pumped up for Moon Knight and so this will be one that I believe will definitely go up in value. So I grabbed it now before everybody has that rush. I'm sure they'll put out new Funko Pops for Moon Knight when it comes out. Just like they put out new WandaVision Pops. And they're putting out new, probably going to put out new Loki Pops. They put out Falcon and Winter Soldier Pops. But the original ones will still have their value. Now there are three different Moon Knight Pops that are currently out. There's this one, which is the regular LA Comic Con. There's also the Glow in the Dark uh, LA Comic Con Funko Pop that came out in 2017. These were shared Hot Topic exclusives. Um, and then uh, there's also a Walgreens exclusive uh, Moon Knight as well, uh, which I think came out about 2016 or something like that is, uh, around the same time. Uh, so you have three Moon Knights out right now. I have seen the Glow in the Dark has actually shot up in value from like $40, $50 like just four months ago all the way up to like $90 to $100 right now. This pop has gone up from like $17, $18 up to $27 or $28. So, you know, I got it just slightly under value, which is under PPG, which is good. And then I think the Walgreens one is right around the same as this, hovering around that, around that $29, $30 range, I believe. So you can still get these pops at like a moderate price right now, but I definitely think once the show comes out, these ones are going to start to go up. So there are a few out there. Um, it took me a little bit of digging, but I was able to find some. I, I am looking for some other uh, Marvel Funko Pops that are vaulted that I might be able to get before the show, before those shows come out. I did end up getting a Loki Funko Pop from my local comic book store for a good price, so I'll hang on to that, see what happens. Uh, I did get, uh, well, I am going to get a Hawkeye uh, from Avengers Age of Ultron, because uh, I'm sure that that one will come up. I do have a couple other Hawkeye Pops as well, and I did actually get um, the Avengers Assemble Hawkeye uh, Pop too. so I'll get a, have a few different Hawkeye Pops and I'll see what happens with those. Uh, and then also Ms. Marvel. There's a Walgreens exclusive Ms. Marvel uh, that uh, is out there as well. The Hawkeye and uh, Ms. Marvel uh, Funko Pops are not really high valued right now. But again, as soon as the show comes out, those might, even if it goes from $12 value up to $20 value, I think it's still going to go up a little bit. So if you guys are looking for Funko Pops that if you are a value collector, I know for me, I'm not buying these necessarily to sell them, but I like having, you know, having them, you know, grow in value because if I do decide later down the road to shrink in my collection, uh, look, which I've actually had to do a little bit, uh, I know that I can get more back than what I paid for them. There are certain ones that I'm never really going to sell, uh, but knowing that I have that option to and I can get that better value for it is certainly going to be well worth it. And it's fun kind of guessing. It's like playing the stock market, right? You know, buying the dip, and then when they go up, you know, then you feel good. And you don't necessarily get that payout until you sell them. So it's just a game that we like to play. Uh, and if you are a value collector, which 
I'm a little bit of value collector, but I do mostly collect what I love and what I like because there are a lot of pops behind me that don't really have a ton of value, but I just think they're cool pops, uh, especially like the Simpsons ones. Not all of them are um, have a lot of value, but I have most of the Simpsons pops out of the OG series there. But uh, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to show off this Moon Knight pop here uh, just a little bit. Wasn't going to unbox it. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that how I got it and why I got it and also talk a little bit about those shows coming up so tip out to you guys out there uh, if you are a value collector you do want to get some pops that are going to be going up in value uh, definitely this Moon Knight one and then like I mentioned Miss Marvel Hawkeye and those Loki pops uh, are probably good ones to get as we saw what happened with WandaVision another good example this vision right here from Avengers Infinity War I think in Director Episode 2, we ended up buying this. We found it at our local comic book shop, $25. Now, it's worth like 90 So, these jump up high in value. Even the regular WandaVision Pops are going for big bucks as well. So, you know, plan a little bit ahead. It might take a little bit of investment, but especially if it's a pop that you like, go ahead and invest in it while it's at that you know, $10, $15, $20 range then who knows, it might go up to $50 or $100 down the line too. So that is my thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do this as well, if there have been some pops, especially for Marvel or Star Wars or DC or any of these big uh, properties. What, you know, Space Jam pops have been a thing as well with the new ones coming out that people grabbing the old ones. Were there any of those pops that you ended up buying in anticipation for new projects coming out, new movies and new TV shows? or new you know comics or whatever that would boost the value of uh, that pop let me know in the comments down below what you guys think also make sure to like and subscribe got a ton of Funko Pop videos on the channel and I hope you guys check them out I hope you enjoy them but thanks so much for watching today and as always we'll see you again real soon